Hello and welcome back to Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm David, an Englishman in the Balkans. And if you're new here, uh, the videos that I produce on YouTube and the blog posts that I put uh, on my blog, as well as the Facebook page, it's about my daily life, uh, or my life in general rather, as an Englishman here in the northwest of Bosnia, Herzegovina, and my life here and my travels around the region. So I hope that you'll stick with it, find it interesting. If you do, please do subscribe and um, that would be great. And if you're watching on YouTube, hit that bell as well so you get notified every time that I post a video. Now, there haven't been too many videos of late, only some small ones. Uh, the reason behind that has been mainly that Tamara has not been too well. It's a fact, if you've been following some of our uh, earlier videos, you'll know that she had her gallbladder out. We thought that was going to be the end of her discomfort, her yeah, digestive discomfort, if you will. But there have been a few complications. They are getting better. So please don't go into a panic about it. Uh, and she'll be back on the videos in a very, very short while. Just want to give her another couple of days um, to get back on her feet, uh, as it were. Right. What have we got coming up? Well, we will be going off to Montenegro at the end of this month. This is August of 2019. We're going to go there uh, for 10 days. And my brother is coming out from England. So you might catch my brother on some of the videos as well. If you've been following the videos and also my blog posts, you'll know that earlier on this year, we hosted a family Family, a German family from Baden-Württemberg. They were called the Ottos, uh, and they were coming back to this area to find a little bit more about their ancestors who were born here. Now, if you haven't watched those videos or watched uh, or read the blog post, let me do a quick recap, and that is this. After the Ottoman Empire left this part of uh, Europe back in the late 1800s, uh, the Austro-Hungarian Empire took over control here, and Germany actually sent some settlers into this area, about 30 kilometers away from where I am at the moment, uh, and created two new villages. One was called Rudolfstal, and the other one was called Windhorst. Uh, and the Ottos, their forefathers, their ancestors, uh, were part of those German communities uh, that stayed here actually until 1944, when the Germans finally left this part of Bosnia-Herzegovina. We did a blog post about their visit, but the other day, Tam and I went back to Novotopola. We went actually not to see Windhorst, the old Windhorst itself, but to visit the Red Church, and that is actually the Church of St. Joseph. It's a Roman Catholic church set up when those Catholic German settlers came here at the end of the 19th century. And here's some footage of that Red Church, the Church of St. Joseph in Novotopola, previously known as Windhorst.
So a short drone flight over the Red Church, as it's known locally in Novo Topola. Actually, it's St. Joseph's Roman Catholic Church. If you like the video, please do comment. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do subscribe if you are of a mind to and hit that bell as well so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And you'll find this on Vimeo, you'll find this on the Facebook page, and you'll also be able to watch this video on the blog at an Englishman in the Balkans.com. Until next time, when hopefully Tam will be with me, do stay safe wherever you are. Mm -hmm.